since a man walked on this earth that done so many extraordinary things, we started counting time by him. It's our God that created everything. Loved us so much that he lowered himself and came down here on earth and walked among us for 33 years so we would understand that he understands. That's how much he loved us. We put our faith and trust in him and everything we've done is wiped clean. Everything you've done, clean. Never to be brought up again. Everything you're gonna do, as long as you get back up and don't wallow in, is took care of. Because he came down here and didn't sin, and they killed him for it. He just told them who he was. Later, he'd come back to life. Yeah. He can't kill our God. He came back so we wouldn't have to fear death. I didn't know what to think about all this. He said, look, all you do is you've got to make a profession of faith. Jesus is Lord. You know why you do that? Because you're denouncing the Lord you've been following, the devil. And you're proclaiming your new Lord, Jesus Christ. You repent. You just quit acting like you've been acting and try to act better. That's just like him hanging on that cross. You're buried in a watery grave. It's just like he was buried. You come up to a new life. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. Because all the bad that you've done in the past is gone. Now God can come back and live with you. And when you start messing up a little bit, because you think, well, I can't do that. You got this helper, the Holy Spirit. Your conscience really bothers you. He's just reminding you that we act a little better than this now. We don't we don't do this. We gotta we gotta go this way. I had so many people tell me, well, you know, I'll ask them to come to church. They say, well, I need to straighten up first. I'm thinking, you wait for your arm to heal up, that broke arm, before you go to the doctor. That makes a lot of sense. I tell you, I didn't know what to think about it, what, what I was hearing. I was just trying to find a way to get, get back to the truck and get out of there. He said, look, God, I'm going to do me a favor. He said, you got a Bible at your house? And I got to thinking. Now, why are people that don't even go to church or think about God? Why they got a Bible? Ain't a lot of them got it. I promise you. He said, lock your door. He said, read Luke and Acts and get back with it. Tell me what you think. So look, I'm a doubting Thomas. I didn't know what to think about all this stuff that he was telling me. So I went, locked my door, and I started reading. And I got to the 24th chapter. When they killed this Jesus, and all his running buddies, them 12 apostles, they run up in that upper room because they were... I mean, they just watched their best friend die. I guess I'd be scared, too. They were thinking them Romans was going to get them. They was mourning. I'm sure they was praying together. And then Jesus just appeared. Just, <laughs> there he is. It scared them to death. He said, look, don't be scared. A ghost don't have flesh and blood like you see I got. Touch me. And then he said something pretty awesome. He said, I'm hungry. Y'all got any fish? <laughs> it was probably crappie or catfish. <laughs> so that told me two things. Fish fries in heaven. And we're getting our bodies back. You know why I know that? Because that was his resurrected body. 
they recognized who he was. So it was him. You're going to be you. We're getting this back. It's going to be changed, but not exchanged. I used to think we'd be some little old angel on a cloud playing, playing a harp, you know. No, we ain't going to be no messenger. The angels long to look in the things that God promises us. And that's what got me. So January the 21st, 1996, at 1 o'clock in the morning, my buddy baptized me into Christ. And I ain't looked back. That's not some fancy, smancy, oh, everything's fixing to come up. Roses for you, buddy. No, sir. Life's going to be life. Things are going to happen. Bad things are going to happen to good people. But you know what you got? I tell you, there's a wonderful church family here. I've spent two days with them. A lot of love here. I can see it. I can feel it. So when you go through those times, this is what you've got. So I don't know how many of y'all are visiting, but if you're ever thinking about maybe visiting a church like my wife was making me, this would be a good one to check out. That's what keeps you going. You have a forever family. Heaven, dying, God took care of that. Jesus took care of it. You ain't got to be scared to die. I don't want to die. I especially would hate for my family. But I'm not, I'm not worried about it. And they're not really either. They'll understand. And they'll, but they'll know where I'm at. Because there ain't no doubt. What a peace of mind that is to know that everything I've done is took care of, and that everything that I'm gonna do is took care of. It's called grace. It's what God gives us, and we got to have it. I used to think, you gotta act like this, or you go going to hell. You gotta act a certain way. There's freedom in Christ. We can have fun. See, they put us on TV. It showed everybody how much fun we could have. God said, let there be. And there was this earth. I tell you, I've been everywhere, all over this country. I've seen beautiful oceans, beautiful waterfalls, beautiful mountain ranges. This earth is pretty awesome. It is pretty. God said, let there be. And it just came to pass. Just like that. But he tells us in John that he's going back to prepare a place for us. Can you imagine what that's going to look like? That he puts thought into? It's going to be pretty amazing. My heaven? Okay. I got about 100,000 acres. I got a pond right in the middle of it. I'm trying to get down there to go duck hunting because all the ducks are landing there. All of them. I got just an unlimited amount of shells, shotgun shells. But I can't get down there because all these big buck deer in the way. I can't get down the driveway. <laughs> and there's 10 pound crappie swimming around in that thing. And it's going to be better than that because that's just what I can imagine. But God said, it's more than you can imagine. This Christian thing, it's real. It's, this ain't no social club. It's real. If you look on TV now, I've seen more and more and more stuff they're putting on about Christian stuff and churches. And there's a big revival at Asheville. It's a, it's a good thing. There's nothing. I mean, I've tried it for 30 years. 
if this is not real, what, and we're wrong, I'm a good person. I treat people good. I ain't miss nothing. But if we're right, somebody got hell to pay. It ain't gonna be me. I couldn't believe, you know, I wasn't ready to hear the message, the gospel of Jesus when I heard it. Uh, I wasn't even expecting it. But after it, the more he talked, the more it made sense. I checked it out to make sure he was right. Cause, and he told me, that's one thing he told me. He said, I want you to read this stuff because I want you to make sure what I'm telling you is true. I don't want you to put your faith in me. I want you to put your faith in God. So I did. And I couldn't. I couldn't knock it. So here I am, being blessed and talking to y'all, giving y'all some little bit of hope. And I thank y'all so much for letting me tell you about the hope that I have. And I want to leave you with three truths. You can be anything you want to be. You are loved. And Jesus is real. I love y'all. Thank y'all for having me. Thank you, Mr. Goblin, for sharing your testimony with us tonight. Hey, that's the greatest story ever ever told about the greatest man who ever lived that offers the greatest gift that's ever been offered. And the greatest question you'll ever be asked is, have you received that gift of forgiveness and eternal life? If, uh, if we can be assistance to you, then, then see us before you leave here tonight. If you find one of these people that's got the Beast Feet shirts on, you can find me or any of the church staff if you know who we are. If not, then find one of them. There's also cards on your table. If you want to fill out one of those cards so you can leave it on the table, we'll find it later and we will contact you and reach out and see if we can be of assistance to you. It's a, it's a fire alarm going off behind me back here, but he, he'll be all right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to turn back over to these guys again. Give God one a hand. I appreciate you, buddy. So I'm sure everybody's got a little story like that, right? You know, God touches us in different ways, different places, and puts us in different situations that we would never, ever think of. So just always remember when you talk to somebody, or you see somebody at a grocery store that might need a hand, you never know what that person's going through. So always be willing to give a hand. Say, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. If you do that to somebody every day, it'll come back to you, and your whole life circle will change. So just always remember that. We're going to call some more tickets. So, Martha, can you get Donna to come up here, please? Yeah. All right, here we go. Look at your look at your numbers. Three one eight is the last numbers on the ticket. Three one eight for a nice knife that y'all can use. <clears throat> Filleting them ten pound crap. <laughs> Three one eight. All right. Yes. Four two three. Four two three. And on this one, it's good for a hat and a shirt out there at the beak whacker stand. So take this out there, and then you can get your perfect size. Like I said, just make sure the companies that are here and whatever it is, just make sure you patron them guys say thank you for coming and spending time being a part of it. All right, guys, we're going to do the mystery meet. And I guarantee y'all can understand what y'all ate. <laughs> y'all ever ate crow before? 
Yeah. You ate it tonight too if you tried to mystery me. It was crap. Wow. It was a bird. <laughs> so now y'all can't go home and say you never ate crow in your life if y'all tried it. So. <laughs> So since nobody won, we're just going to pick one, and I'm going to have my lovely wife do that. So it was a good job, but I felt like I was playing duck, duck, goose the amount of times you guys guessed those things. So back there I'm looking, it was duck, 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 goose. But a um, couple pheasants, a couple people um, picked that. Gave me some good ideas on ones to pick for future years um, as well. So what we decided was, since we're all wonderful losers, we will choose from one of the losers. Okay. Um, okay, I think it looks like Claude Turner, who, who guessed turtle. <laughs> turtle. So Claude Turner, uh, Claude Turner, come on down and you get a Texas Roadhouse gift card. Oh, <laughs> All right, well, thank you everybody for trying it. It was a lot of fun. Aaron Fisher, are you around? Do you want to announce the winners for the BB contest? Okay, and all you youngsters that win or qualified or whatever, however they're doing it. Just come up here once you get a prize so we can get a picture. So don't run off as soon as you get it, please. Uh, all right, well, some of y'all are doing a right fine job of teaching your children how to shoot. Some of y'all, maybe y'all need lessons too, I don't know. Uh, for third place, we had a tie today. Uh, we got uh, Abby Thompson uh, and uh, CJ. CJ! No, it's CJ. <laughs> uh, second place today is uh, Leah Filipovich. Place winner today is AJ Thompson. And one of the third place winners and the first place winner related do not go to their house unannounced. Any other kids you shot today, uh, we're going to put your targets up here at the front of the stage and you can come get them and see what you did.
finish up the door prizes. So we have the dessert contest, and in past years we just had one winner, but I always felt bad because we had a lot of good desserts. So this year we upped it to three winners. Um, our third prize winner is Holly Brooks with peanut butter filled cookies. And same thing, stay up here when you get your picture. Oh, he wants you to get the bubbles. Holly Brooks. Second prize, is that Maddie or Molly? Molly Miller with a cheesecake. And our first prize is Chrissy Payton with an awesome chocolatey Claire cake. Where is Holly? Did Holly leave? Or Holly might not be here. I think Holly might have just sent it. Thank you everybody that put a dessert in the contest. Without that, we wouldn't be able to have a contest. Five, five, one. <clears throat> All right. Another nice knife for one of the big bucks on the way to Bowen. Four, four, eight. Four, four, eight. All the way in the back. Six one seven. Six one seven. Up there. All the way back. Five three six. Five three six. <laughs> Sorry, it's taking a while. I forgot my glasses, so. And my arms are shrunk. They're not as long as they used to be. Five, three, six. Mr. Mayhew. Five oh four. Five zero four. I'm putting you five shots tonight. I'm not taking Six one zero. Six one zero. Four, five, four. Four, five, four. Four, five, nine. Four, five, nine. Three, seven, four. Three, seven, four. Three, seven, four. Oh. Oh. Three, seven, four. 
It's a free shirt from Troy Creek uh, Retrievers out front. So just take out there and you get the right size. That better not be tomorrow. Six, four, six. Six, four, six. It's all good. Don't mess me up, Liam. Five nine six. Five nine six. I don't know. Who is it? Delta <coughs> Chain. Switch the stuff no. based on who they see more. No. Four, six, eight. Four, six, eight. Four, six, eight. Going one. Oh, you got it? Okay. Three, eight, two. Three eight two. Three eight. Two. Three, eight. 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 Right there front. That's what I want. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Three, four, zero. Three, four, zero. Three, four, zero. Is a very nice all season wreath for the door. Ritzy wreath. Four six five. Four six five. I'd have put that far Woo! Oh. Him and his wife are so long, he got else early. Okay, we got an old style hammer muzzle loader here. I'm sure it's very accurate, just like they were always. 481. 481. All right, we got some car wash from Mr. Jerry McDaniels who was decent enough to donate some to us. 449, 449, 449, going once, oh, back there. Same area. Yeah. We got a lucky spot. Oh, sorry. 496. Another car wash. 496. What's in uh, 496. 425. 425. Way beyond. 425. Six two two. Six two two. Can you hear me? 
Six five six. Six five six. All right, that'll work. That's for a Five six one. Five six one. Here's our ammo can. That's for a beast beast shirt. Out front, you can pick it. Got a little ammo box. We got turkey calls for PTP guns. This is a goodie box. It's a cup. Some. Oyster knives. It's like some oyster shucking knives. Crab picking something. It's all kind of good stuff in there to have a good time. And there's a gift certificate for a Maryland wear and carry course. So you even get the gun hooked up, get some crabs, some oysters. I mean, that's a pretty good night. Is this the one? <laughs> six, five, six. Oh, that one you just called. Hold on, hold on. Sorry. That guy's like mad now. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Five, three, seven. Five, three, seven. Over there. Yeah. Five eleven. Five one one. Another car wash, 628. Over there. 439. 439. All right, pick another number. Four, five, three. Four, five, three. Five, one, seven. Five, one, seven. That's a, is that a bell up there? Right? Crossbow. Yeah, crossbow up there. That's a crossbow? You the car wash? Gun and crossbow. All right, here we go. We got a nice crossbow here. Uh, it's heavy. Sorry, I'm going to go quick. 335. 335. Three, three, what are our numbers? Right? What numbers do we have? Seven two and seven eight. Three seven two. Three four three and three oh six. What? She lost the number two. <laughs> oh, that's all good. All right, here we go. What everybody's been waiting for. She thought she Charles lost. Daly twenty gauge shotgun. Perfect bird gun. Rabbits. Deer, whatever. Okay. Here we go, folks. Five. Who's still in it? Eight. 
It's like bingo. <laughs> Eight. Maybe they're not here. Double digit number. Five, eight, eight. You got it. What if they left? Five, eight, eight. Four, one. Five, eight, eight. Four, one. Going twice. Oh, she's got it. Five, eight, eight. Four, one. 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 I mean, Steve. Yeah, now you got to have it back. We got to take it back. Y'all can look at it. Then it's got, you got to go to Monday to get it all straight. You got to do the background check and all that kind of happy stuff. You go ahead for a minute. We're, we're <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Yep, yep. Once again, thank you guys for coming out. Pastor Randall's going to come back close to prayer. Don't go anywhere yet. Please, don't go anywhere yet. Um, please, once again, tell everybody thank you. You see a Beast Feast shirt, shirt on because y'all worked hard to put this on. Remember, it's in your jars on your tables, and y'all have a safe evening. Here's Pastor Randall. Hey, guys, tomorrow morning, 9, 30, 11 o'clock in the other building. We'd love to see you back here again. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for everybody that had a hand in this. Thank you for the people that showed up. God, thank you for the message that was shared. I ask a blessing on everyone that get home safe. In the name of Jesus, we pray it. Amen. Give these guys a hand. Thank you, guys. Uh oh